Yo, what is up, guys? Today, we're going to be reacting to yet another Tom McDonald song. And I can't tell you how excited I was whenever I seen this one, and I still haven't listened to it. It's been two months, guys. Two months, and I haven't listened to it because I couldn't react to it uh, until right now, okay? Uh, this is End of the World with Tom McDonald and John Rich. Guys, if you know me, you know I'm an old-school country fan, all right? I'm a, I'm a 90s, early 2000s country. Uh, probably older than that. I'll let me some Garth Brooks and George Strait, too. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm an old-school country fan, and so when I seen John Rich, from from big and rich you know back in the day i was excited i was excited about this all right and uh i i, I like john rich a lot all right uh, so, all right, let's go ahead. We're going to jump in. But hey, before we jump in, let me go and tell you about this brand right here, Old U.S. Outdoors. Uh, when I was in Israel, uh, in the Holy Land, doing all sorts of amazing things, seeing amazing things, uh, one of the guys that were on the trip with us, uh, he actually has his own company, his, his clothing company. It is Old U.S. Outdoors. And honestly, they have some incredible things. And it is completely American-owned. It's veteran-owned. Uh, and here you go. I want to show you a couple of things that they have here. If you guys want to go check it out, I'll have it linked link down below. Uh, but some of these, uh, these are some of the shirts they have available. I know uh, the hats are amazing. And I know there's another drop coming in June. So uh, by the time you watch this, you may want to go check the website and see if the other drop is there. Uh, anyway, there's some uh, amazing stuff. If you want to support a veteran owned and American owned company, go check out old us outdoors. And uh, with that said, let's get to the reaction. <laughs> I know the end is near the television telling lies I know for sure the revolution won't be televised I know Ooh. that we've been waiting patiently for better times We fell asleep and men are blind Can't recognize this genocide Feel like yeah. the bomb about to drop out of the clouds Another virus going airborne Go hide inside your house Farmers watching crops die They drying up with droughts Angry people forming crowds Trying to burn the cities down this all right, coming in hot already. Uh, immediately, they hit off with the alien thing. I don't know if you guys have heard the alien conspiracy, right? Is that uh, that we're going to start seeing more and more, um, you know, alien sightings and, and UFOs, and the government's actually going to release things to kind of prove this stuff is real, um, all because of when the rapture takes place and people ascend to heaven. Like, I know there's different Christian beliefs about this. I am a big believer in the rapture, the, the ascension, where we'll be brought up to God, uh, brought up to Jesus in the clouds, that when the ascension happens, they'll explain it away by aliens. And so we're going to start seeing more and more of this. And I just, I don't know, when I first seen that, I kind of wondered if that's the, the reference, uh, or the reference that we're talking about here. And then, I mean, even the, even kind of the, the verses there about, uh, about like COVID, the virus is about to drop, you know, oh, all right, all right, let's go. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go back just a couple of notches and listen to that part over. Okay. Feel like the bomb about to drop out of the clouds Another virus going airborne, go hide inside your house oh. Farmers watching crops die, they drying up with droughts Angry people forming crowds and trying to burn the cities down This is yeah. Armageddon, martial law for our protection I talked to God but it's long distance and I lost reception Forest mm. Mm. Ooh. I talked to God, he says I talked to God but it's long distance I lost reception you know, I, I'm, I'm going to stop. You know, I got to stop here for a second because sometimes it feels that way, right? I'm going to use a very uh, practical time in my life. There's a time in my life uh, where where uh, my mom was sick, right? Uh, uh, my mom was sick. She wasn't doing well. And I was praying and praying and praying and pleading with God. And it seemed like God wasn't listening. God wasn't there. I lost reception. What I found, though, is whenever I made it to the other side, my mom did pass away. And I believe she's in heaven right now with Jesus. But whenever I made it to the other side, I realized when I was able to look back into that difficult time, into that hard time in my life, I was able to look back and realize that God's hand was on me the entire time, that he poured out blessing upon blessing upon blessing. He gave me strength that I did not have. And it wasn't until I made it to the other side that I made it through the storms that I was able to see what God had done. And sometimes it feels like you're talking to God and God's not listening. But so often we're so consumed with the storm around us that we miss the hand of God upon us. And so what I encourage you to do is even if it feels like God's not listening, continue to pray, continue to go to him. And hey, if you feel like you're not hearing the voice of God, go to the word of God. That's the voice of God for your life. It's already written out there for you. All right, let's go. Get it. Martial law for our protection. I talked to God, but it's long distance and I lost reception. Forest fires and oil spills are the awful lessons. I'm just waiting for the devil to take over heaven. This is biblical. I swear it's in the Bible. We keep killing one another and we dying for survival. We used to fight for peace. We put our flowers in their rifles. Now we're about to be extinct. Every man, woman, if and child. It's the Ooh. end of the world. I will do better next time. Oh, yeah, I know it. Yeah, I know it. If it's the end of the world, I know that I have lived my life to the fullest. Yeah, the fullest. Ooh, 
Let me ask this though, if it's the end of the world, what is living life to the fullest? And is that the most important thing? Because if I were to give my complete opinion, if this is the end of the world, the end of time, Jesus is coming back, right? The first time he came as a child, he came as a baby in a manger. The second time he's coming as a fierce warrior on a horse. Next time he's coming back, not as a child, but he's coming back as a warrior, right? If this is the end of the world and Jesus is coming back, is the most important thing you living life to the fullest. No, 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 no. The most important thing is your relationship with Jesus when the end of the world comes, right? It, it doesn't, I don't, I'm not talking end of the world. I'm not talking apocalypse. I'm not talking rapture right now. I'm talking about at the end of your life, right? When, when it's all said and done is the most important thing about you that you live life to the fullest. Absolutely not. The most important thing is going to be is how is your relationship with Jesus? Because we will each and every one of us leave this life and we will stand before the throne of God and Jesus will look upon us and he will either say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Or he will say, depart from me, you worker of iniquity, for I never knew you. Those are the two options. There's one, two, it's black or there's white. Does God know you? Because you will stand before the Lord and, you, and the only way for you to gain admittance into heaven is perfection. You're going to say, Jeff, I'm not perfect. Neither am I. I'm nowhere near perfect, but there was one that was perfect. Listen, I sinned. I made mistakes. I rebelled. I turned away from God over and over and over and over again. But there was one that was perfect. He came from heaven to earth, born in a manger, lived a perfect sinless life, and he died on the cross so that whenever I put my faith and trust in him, I am covered by his blood. My sins are wiped clean. And when I stand before the Father, I am no longer the filthy rags that I am, but I am his precious and perfect son. That's the most important thing. It's not living life to the fullest, friends. We often, we get this misconception, if I'm going to die tomorrow, there's so many things I want to do. If, there, if you're going to die tomorrow, the most important thing for you to do is get right with Jesus. It's not riding a bull. And, and you know the song, live like you're dying, I'm going back to my country roots. It's not riding a bull. It's not going skydiving. It's not going Rocky Mountain climbing. It's making sure you're right with God. And we do that through a relationship with Jesus. All right, let's go. I, sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent one minute into the song, but I felt like I had to. We stood on top of mountains. We've been to space before. We had our dogs and houses. We dug up dinosaurs. We built those bombs are dropping. We fought in all their wars. Now that the sky's falling, what did we do it for? Feels like the end is near. Our freedom's disappearing. People playing God, call it genetic engineering. Uh, media misleading us and evil's interfering. While the government we need became the power that we're fearing. Our billionaires are going to space, don't blame them for leaving. Birds are falling out the air, fish washing up on our beaches. This is end times, humans got a deadline. Children were the future till we ruin them with headlines. Should Ooh, I gotta love for just a moment how this video... The video seems like such a joke. The, the video seems like, oh, it's goofy, it's aliens. There's the, I, I pause right now with a cow being floated up to a spaceship. And, and my boy Tom over here is just dropping absolute truth bombs. All right, he says, our billionaires are going to space. We can't blame them for leaving. Birds falling out of the sky, fish washing up on our beaches. He said, this is the end time. Humans got a deadline. Listen, children were the future till we ruined them with headlines. Isn't it, ooh, isn't it nasty? Let's just be honest. Isn't it disgusting how, how these corrupt individuals seem to be going after our children? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I've, I am strongly considering like homeschool. I mean, I, let me know in the comments. Do you homeschool? Do you public school? Or are you on the fence? Uh, I have friends that are teachers and, and, and they, they have what they have to teach. And, and, and that's just like the requirement. I mean, it, let's be honest. It feels like they're going after our kids, right? With, uh, uh, you know, pretty, pretty dark beliefs i don't know this is end times humans got a deadline children are the future till we ruin them with headlines should we pass a bedtime but everyone's woke they told us chase a dollar that made everyone broke i feel like cryptocurrency is probably our last financial hope soon enough the government will leave your bank account froze judgment day is coming you can run or you can stand and fight panic in the dark or lead rebellions by the candlelight this ain't your granddaddy's planet earth it's black and white the end is coming i'll see y'all in the afterlife I've already covered it, but I could definitely go into that afterlife part. Because there's 
there is an afterlife. Like, I don't know if anyone's ever told you this before, but you will never die. You are eternal. You are immortal. You will simply change location, right? There is an afterlife. This life will come to an end. And after that, you will not end, but you will go to a destination. The destination that you go to is of your choosing. There is heaven and there is hell. And I'm not a hell preacher by any means. But the, all, but the truth of the matter is, is that if you believe in God, and if you have the slightest little inclination, if, if there is a God, I beg you to consider this question, where will you go when you die? Because good people don't get into heaven. I, I just want you to know that good people don't get into heaven. You will never be good enough and you can never earn your way into heaven because the requirement for admittance into heaven is perfection. And you and I have fallen short. Have you ever told a lie? Have you ever looked lustfully at a woman? Have you ever stolen something? Have you ever thought about someone and hated them in your heart? Have you, have you done these things? Because if so, you were disqualified from being admitted into heaven. The only way that you gain admittance into heaven is through a relationship with Jesus Christ. The Bible says in John 14, 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. No other religion, no other being good enough, no other charitable deeds. It's through a relationship with Jesus alone. And so, yes, there is an afterlife. We are eternal. We are immortal. We will live forever. The question is where? We will one day breathe our last breath here on earth, and we will change destinations. We will either be in heaven with Jesus where there is no pain and there is no sorrow, there is only happiness and, and worship, or we'll be in hell where there is no happiness and there is no joy. There is simply pain and sorrow for eternity. All right, that's the reality. That's dark as I'm going to get. All right, let's go. Do better next time. Oh, yeah, I know it. Yeah, I know it. If it's the end of the world, I know that I have lived my life to the fullest. Yeah, the fullest We stood on top of mountains We've been to space before We had our dogs and houses We dug up dinosaurs We built those bombs are dropping We fought in all their wars Now that the sky's falling What did we do? It's the end of the world <laughs> I don't, I don't even know what to make of this video. I'm not gonna lie. I kinda, I kinda love it. I kinda do, really. As we know it, it's our fault that it's over. While we look down at our phones, they'll drop a bomb from a drone, then an explosion. We should have known it. I don't know my takeaway. I, don't, I think I said my takeaway. I think I said my takeaways in it. That was good. I liked the video. I liked the song. It was silly. But there was a lot of truth in it. I think there was a lot of truth masked by goofiness in that. And uh, I think we should listen to it and really think about it. But I think we really got to consider one line that's just jumping at back at me as I'm thinking about it is, The end is coming. I'll see you all in the afterlife. I've done a lot. I've done, I've done a few funerals. I'm not going to say a lot. I've done a few funerals. And, and, and as Christians, as followers of Jesus, we get this hope that we will see you again. And one of the things I like to say is this isn't goodbye. It's I'll see you later. However, that is only a hope that belongs to those that believe and have committed their lives to Jesus. And so... Let's be honest, the phrase, the end is coming, as dark as it may sound, the end is coming. Maybe it's the end of the world, but at the very least, it's the end of our lives. That is coming one day. And the only way that we can have assurance of, of the afterlife or the location of our choosing is through a relationship with Jesus. And so I encourage you guys, really, think about it. Pray about it. 
open up the Word of God and read what God has to say about it and what God has to say to you. And if you guys ever have any questions, you ever want to talk to me, uh, I have a link down below to my Discord channel. You can join there, send me a message. I have a, I have a channel in there for Bible questions and things like that too. But uh, anyway, love to chat with you. But hey, guys, I appreciate you. Make sure you sub if you want to see more videos like this. If you have any more recommendations of songs I should react to, make sure you leave those down below as well. All right, I'll see you guys.